Shadows, how's it going? Shadow Sick here. Welcome to the Games with Gold for September. Uh, it is 4.05 p.m. on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday! Um, I am filming this before I go down and see my mother to cut my hair. That's right, I'm losing all my hair. Um, not all of it, but most of this length that I have. Uh, so I wanted to do something, something else with my hair. So you'll see that in other videos, but I've got a lot of videos that I've pre-recorded with that hair, so it's going to be funny seeing like go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I've also ordered food, so if I get to the, if I have to step away, it's to get food because I'm getting Uber Eats. Uh, anyway, so what we got for the first half is we got Prison Architect available from the first of September to the thirtieth of September. We still got four on a standard edition available from the 16th of the 8th to the 15th of the 9th. Grab that while you can. It's actually quite fun and the servers are a lot better than how they were a while ago, or at least I think so. We also got Lego Star Wars 3 on the uh, 360. Uh, it was also backwards compatible. Uh, available from the 1st of September to the 15th of September. So grab that while you can. Uh, we also have Live Lock on the 16th of September to the 15th of the 10th. Uh, which will be available. It's Xbox One. I've seen some people play it. It looks pretty fucking fun. Uh, Chima Hunter did a video on it. If you want to check that out, I'll probably link in the de in the description. But you should probably watch my version eventually when I do it. Um, but that's up to you. <laughs> uh, and then we also got Sega Vintage Collection, uh, or Sega, sorry, uh, Vintage Collection Monster World, available from the 16th of the 9th to the 30th of the 9th. So another, like, vintage collection, which I'm not too interested in. Unless it was, like, Sonic or Street Fighter or something. Uh, okay, so let's go to Prison Architect. Do, 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 do. Double Eleven Limited published it. The, the layout's changed as well. I'll just take a screenshot of it. It's fucking weird. I don't like it. I like the other one, but, yeah. Um, so it's uh, four stars. Sorry, three and a half stars, but 11 ratings. Uh, and the description, take control of a building and running a maximum security prison as the critically acclaimed lock em up arrives on Xbox One. And the prison architect, you will see the impact of your grand design on the lives of your inmates being uh, a, utopic, a utopic center for rehabilitation, a brutal supermax prison or anything in between. Even when all of your prisoners needs are met, Remember one thing, it's still a prison. No one really wants to be there. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, do you make one for, like, prisoners to have a good time? Or do you make one to fucking give your prisoners a li living hell? It's a real question. It's M rating. I don't know why. It looks fucking boring. Uh, and it's thirty four ninety five NZD, including GST. It has some in-app purchases. It has an escape mode. You know, so, like, an all-day... Psych or something. Do, 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 do. There's some also um, no ratings actually like written down on the site. Where are the ratings at? Can I see them? No. It's Game Hub. You can go to the Game Hub for it. Okay, a driver's on his way to drop off my food. Sweet. You yeah, know. Nah. Okay. Anyway, skipping. Moving on. Uh, <clears throat> okay, Lego Star Wars. You, if you want to see For Honor, you can go into the previous games. It's called a link in the description. But for for um, Lego Star Wars Three, the game rating is R. I don't know fucking why. Uh, it's four stars with three hundred and fifty six ratings. It's twenty nine ninety five NZD, including GST on the three sixty. The gig uh, the gig size is about six point three gigabytes. It was released on the seventeenth of the first two thousand and twelve. Damn, that's about like six years ago or something no dlc in it but we'll go to the next one so lego star wars 3 published by disney interactive studios it's an action adventure family and kids game um explore 16 systems and experience new features like a massive like massive ground battles in the most action-packed lego game to date it's got a five star rating with three ratings what's the price you're gonna show me oh it just jumps me to the fucking doesn't tell me the price on xbox one rip um Developed by Traveller's Tales, um, and published by Disney Interactive Studios. Uh, the, yeah, they got the release date. The approximate size on Xbox One is uh, six point sixty one gigabytes. Um, and again, no, no actual like rating ratings, unless they've changed the system and you can't see the ratings anymore. That'd be pretty fucking lame. Uh, livestock. Next uh, is the published by Perfect World Entertainment. It's a shooter. 
$14.95 into D, including GST. Livestock is a cooperative top-down shooter where you play solo or with up to two allies uh, to break the to break the cycle of infinity war, infinite war between machines. I think they've got a typo there. The cycle, there's no space. As one of the remaining capital intellects, your role is to unlock Eden. Yeah, another spelling mistake. Uh, and revive humanity. It's a PG. Take control of one of the three mechanical chassis, Hex, Vanguard, or Catalyst, to defeat the intelligent mechanical, uh, yeah, mechanical enemies. God, this game's with gold feels so, like, unorganized and not so, like, snippy and fast, because they've changed the layout, and it's just boggling for me. Uh, intelligent action. Overcome chaotic skirmishes where complete mastery of your arsenal and understanding of enemies. Behaviors is key to survival. Three-player cop. Combine forces and coordinate with friends to take advantage of the class strengths. Each chassis has a distinct personality and arsenal to match. Infinite war. Uh, explore the post-cataclysmic uh, world and attempt to revive humanity in story mode or fight through dynamically generated waves of enemies in survival mode. Devastating firepower. Combine your weaponry with devastating class-based skills. Create earth-shattering shockwaves, summon lethal automated drones, and call down searing lasers from orbit with at a push of a button. Uh, it was developed by... Tuk Games, T U Q U E. I don't know how fucking how to pronounce that. It's about eight point forty nine gigabytes to install. No ratings again. All right, my driver's here. I just got to go get that. Okay, I'm gonna end this and then go eat my food. <laughs> Sponsored by McDonald's. Now nah, I wish. Um. Anyway, let's go back to Vinter. Uh, Sega Vintage Collection Monster World. Monster World. It's about a four-star rating with 21 ratings. It's uh, G. Uh, it's about $12.95 NZD, including GST. Um, size is about 241.32 megabytes. The release date was the 23rd of the 5th, 2012. Um, no DLC or anything. The Xbox One version, uh, published by Sega, Action Adventure, Classics, and a Platformer. Um, bring peace to the monster world in these classic action RPG titles, Wonder Boy in Monster Land, Wonder Boy in Monster World, and for the first time outside of Japan, Monster World IV. Uh oh, it's got the reviews? Shit. I, think I just saw a tab, separate tab. Uh, developed by M2. On Xbox One, it's 828.9 megabytes. So let me just quickly jump back real quick. Here we go, reviews. I was wondering where it was. Okay, so it's uh, 5 stars is 45%, 4 stars is 9%, 3 stars is 9%, 2 stars is 0, 1 star is 36%. Um, but no actual written reviews for Prison Architect. We jump over to Lego Star Wars. Um, do, do, do. 100% 5 star rating with two actual ratings, uh, five star, uh, published on the 1st of the 9th, 2018, by Dr. Epicster, uh, My Childhood. This game was a part of my childhood, and seeing it again brought back wonderful memories. Another five star, for, uh, published on the 2nd of the September, uh, 2018, by Ratio Wellings, I think it's called, Our Childhood. I remember this from the PS2 days, going to jam it again with my brother. Yeah, I want to jam it with my brother too. Remember, brother isn't here. Um, and in terms of livestock, it's a 50% five star and a 50% two star with one uh, thingy. Uh, one one publish, which is uh, two star, 26th of the 11th, 2016 by Nike's uh, 2311. Copy. It's a copy of this, of the Destiny cover story and the game player are the same as basically a Chinese movie ripoff. Okay. Yeah, because what the main character kind of looks like fucking a, like a NXO from Destiny. And then to Sega Vintage, I don't think it has any reviews. Nah, no reviews or ratings. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, um, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Also say goodbye to my hair, um, even though I'm gonna film a couple other videos before I go with it. Uh, but yeah, so please have liked, share, and subscribe. Subscribe more, help me a lot. See you next episode. Whatever it makes. Stars, my name is Olivia, and uh, bye bye.
Mom, I'm coming.